welcome back to learning made easy this is the final video for pepita talks twice story one laughed and said hey pepita how are you <laughs> going to teach old lobo tricks if you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I'll find a way, Pepita said with a frown. She had not thought about this, either. Pepita's neighbor Miguel was on the sidewalk, bouncing a rubber ball. His brothers and sisters were sitting on their front porch, singing. Me dejaste solo, solo, como un clavito en la pared. Tú me olvidaste y me quedé, como un clavito en la pared. Te fuiste con otro, otro, en las cosas de... When they saw her, they called. Come, Pepita. Sing with us. Me dejaste solo, solo, como un clavito en la pared. Tú me olvidaste y me quedé, como un clavito en la pared. Te fuiste con otro. I can't, she called. All of your songs are in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish anymore. Me dejaste solo, solo, como un clavito en la pared. Tú me olvidaste y me quedé, como un clavito en la pared. Te fuiste con otro, otro, en las cosas de la mano. Too bad, they said. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. How will you help us sing at the birthday parties? How? Tus amigos vendrán a celebrar, es tu cumple y por eso estamos aquí, que los cumplas muy feliz, cumpleaños feliz. I'll find a way, Pepita said with a frown. <coughs> This was something else she had not thought about at the supper table. <coughs> Pepita's mother told everyone that Abuelita, their grandmother, was coming the next day.
Abuelita says, she has a new story for Pepita. Once there were three billy goat brothers. What are you going to do now? <coughs> Nothing, said Pepita. I can listen in Spanish. Eso yo lo vi, yo era chica, no era. Ya tenía unos siete años más o menos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Pepita's father said, What's going on? Pepita swallowed hard. I don't speak Spanish anymore, Papa, she said. Too bad, her father said. It's a fine thing to know two languages. It's not a fine thing at all. Pepita said and then stopped. Her father was frowning at her. Huh. She even calls Lobo Wolf. Juan said, Wolf. Her father said, and his frown grew deeper. Huh? Well then, Pepita, we'll have to find a new name for you, won't we? How will you answer to Pepita if that is no longer your name? How? I'll find a way, Pepita said, with a long sigh. Hmm. Hmm. This was something she had never ever thought about before. That night, when she went to bed. Pepita pulled the blankets up to her chin and made a stubborn face. Uh. I'll find a way, she thought. Uh. If I have to, I can call myself Pete. My name is Pete. I can listen in Spanish. I can hum with the singing. <laughs> I can call a taco a crispy, crunchy, folded over, round corn sandwich.
and Wolf will have to learn his name in English. With that, she turned over and went to sleep. In the morning, when Pepita was leaving for school, her friend Miguel threw his ball into her yard. Lobo fetched it and dropped it at Pepita's feet. <laughs> You're a good dog, Wolf, she said. She put her lunchbox down, threw the ball back to Miguel. The little boy laughed and clapped his hands. Just as she was opening the gate, he threw the ball again. This time, it went into the street. Like a flash, Lobo ran after it. Wolf. Pepita yelled. But Lobo didn't listen and went through the gate. Wolf. Come here. Pepita shouted. But Lobo darted right into the street. A car was coming. Pepita closed her eyes. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Lobo. She screamed. Lobo. Ban Arca. Lobo turned back just before a loud screech of the car's brakes. <coughs> Pepita opened her eyes in time to see the ball roll to the other side of the street. A red-faced man shouted out the window of the car, and Lobo raced back 
into the yard. <sighs> Pepita shut the gate firmly behind Lobo and hugged him. Did you know I love you so much more than my arms could possibly stretch out? <laughs> <laughs> Lobo, oh Lobo, you came when I called you, in Spanish. I love you. Did you know, I love you so much more than my arms could possibly stretch out. <laughs> she nuzzled her face, in his warm fur. I'll never call you Wolf again, she said. Your name is Lobo. Lobo, my darling sweetheart. You are the best dog ever. Just like mine, is Pepita. And, oh Lobo, I'm glad I talked twice. <laughs> It's great to speak two languages. The end. Thank you for watching this video story. Please come back to Learning Made Easy channel for more educational videos where learning is made super easy. The end. Thank you for watching this video story. Please come back to Learning Made Easy channel for more educational videos where learning is made super easy.